everyone and welcome to my channel today i have an unboxing i'm also joined by my little baby over here can you baby a little baby a little baby can you say hi to the camera mama mama look over here <gasps> look at that mama little girl and my little baby yeah you're a little baby she is 16, we just had her birthdays, so I'm so happy. She's with me. Yeah, beautiful girl. All right, back to the plants. <laughs> okay, so I have an unboxing of some plants. First, this is like my um, first day wish list plants. I have I got this one from Lost in the Forest. So thank y'all so much. I also reached out to them on Instagram to kind of like package my trellis because I forgot to add the, the trellis to the order. So it really came in also, uh, but they said that it, they could do it. So I'm pretty sure um, it came in it. First, it looks like this. Oops. And you get a card. Order sheet. Yeah, they packed it in here, so that's all really good. I've been needing one, but I've also, I'm gonna, for these, I wanna put like a pole on it. Like I wanna put them on, I wanna get them matured with their foliage. Oh, I'm so excited, y'all. This one, I'm... Y'all know which one's my favorite plant, right? The Cebu Blue. I love the Cebu Blue. That's like one of my all-time favorite plants. Um, so, definitely had to get something similar, right? For my birthday. I also got a Monstera, I also got a Monstera Albo, but it died on me. It happens, so I'm going to buy another one. This time, I'm buying it rooted with some growth because I am not like I don't want to. I don't want to mess with it. But this. Is a Cebu Blue, Cebu Blue, Cebu Blue. This is a Cebu Blue variegated ghost. Look how pretty that is. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And then I get to put it on the little trellis, so it's gonna be like that. Um, but I'm gonna grow it out first in this little container and then, um, I am going to move it over to um, a glass container for no drainage because that's what's been working for me like with my schedule and having to like water all the plants and fertilize them and stuff like that that's just what works for me so I am very happy with my order thank you Ross in the forest it's always like hard to like order from a new place Especially if it's like something like really expensive because you just don't want to like, you know, get it and die, but with the Monstera Albo, with the Monstera Albo, it like, it just mushed, they got all mushy and I just don't, I don't think I could do the cutting thing, I, no, I don't have time for that. <laughs> And I don't have patience for it. I just kind of like want it. This was from Jumanji John. Jumanji John Plants. I, I got, I always get a little stickers from them. Look at that. He's so cool. One, y'all. So back then, you know, the plants that were like the most rarest plants of all, Guess what it was? It was the Spirit of Sandy. Yep. So the rarest plant, what 
was was very distinty. Only a few people had it, um, and then some people were poaching it and then bringing it in. And so I think so. What now has happened? Um, because there was a demand for it, people have been tissue culturing it, and now I am. Now I have uh, one of the tissue culture uh, specimens. They really made sure that they did not get damaged, so I really appreciate them. They're always like they always take really good care of. They always take really good care of their um, orders, so. And especially now, like I know, I learned like how to like, in a, in a, it comes in a glass jar. But what you want to do is, especially, so that's, that's, that's the Spirit to Santi. And I got in a tissue culture sample now that I've been doing tissue culture with some things like this. And well, there's like some rare plants that I'm not gonna pay like uh, an arm and a leg for that. I will pay like some amount, but if I really want it, because that's, it's my plant and that's what I wanna do. If that's something that I wanna do, that's what I wanna do. Um, but, but yeah, um, I'm a collector and then also sell plants to other people and personally I wanted this plant. I wanted this plant because it was like like a staple to have it like not a staple, I wouldn't say a staple to have, but it, it's like a plant that's just like really like sought out for and I think right now it's it's a bit controversial because people are like, oh you know it's tissue culture, it's not really like a real plant, but it's like it's in my hands, like it's a real plant. Um, but regardless of whatever anybody else thinks, I am just happy to have the plants um, and I'm gonna grow it. And I'm, now that I have like the Thai, I have the, now that I have the Spirit of Santi, I have my Sea Blue Ghost, um, I'm gonna order an Albo, and then there's some more plants uh, that I wanna buy. And these are, <clears throat> these are also like collector plants, but also because like, I personally want to use them to like advance my business and further myself later on. I definitely think I'm going into school. Um, that's what I've been looking into. And I'm thinking about social justice and studying law. So definitely um, something that I've been really more passionate to. And I've always been trying to figure out how, what is my way on how to help people write. And for this moment, for right now, this is what I like doing and what brings me joy and um, what I can later on hopefully invest a little bit so that way whenever I am going to school I can pay for like, you know, books and things like that. And so um, I did go to school. Um, I used, I did go, to, so after high school, I went into college and I went to go study nursing, register nursing. Uh, I skipped my exam, exa I was exempt to take my prerequisites for them. So I went into registered nursing, which is kind of like, <laughs> it was really hard because you really have to like prioritize things and like really get organized. And I just right out of high school like that, I was not ready for all that. And I had night school and <laughs> that was hard. And then I remember one time I, iPod got stolen. It happens, uh, but yeah, it was it, the the story is really interesting because like there was this the pastor just came out of nowhere and he was like, "Give him back your the the iPod." It's I know I'll see you in su like I'll see you in Sunday. Like I was just like, "This is how, where did you come from?" <laughs> but. I'm just like, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I was just like thrown off by it. It was just because I was listening to like, you know, music, getting out of school. And I also worked at the time, so I was just zoned out. I zoned out a lot. Um, but yeah, it's crazy. <clears throat>
I don't know how I got into the topic, <laughs> but I am excited to grow this. I'm just gonna leave it over here in my area, and then uh, slowly I'll just show you. Slowly I'll be working this like area more and adding more grow lights here, and uh, this will be like the uh, area for the tissue culture plants, and I'll explain more on how I'm doing that. So this will be like the where I'm going to acclimate them. And then this is where I'll be having like my exo on top will be the one where I have them uh, like ready for sale. And, or you know, like also be able to trade with people and stuff. So I think that's great. And also help me like really improve the garden. <laughs> so that's always good. And add more like better conditions for my chickens. So I think I'll like other channel I'll be going live because I can go live on my first channel so I'll go live and like share like my chickens and like um, just like things that I'm building around the garden so I like to keep that separate like that's my business and then this is like my me just enjoying plants and doing what I want to do and sometimes just talking so <sighs> Thank you so much for just like watching this portion. So I'm going to place this over here to like acclimate itself for a while. And then this one too. I have like, what do y'all think I should be, what do y'all think I should be doing? Like, would y'all like to see more favorites videos or things like that? I, um, there's like a lot of like life topics that I want to talk into, talk about. So I'll be probably doing that with like my makeup videos and just like chatting, be like a chatty video. So hope y'all like that, but that's what I want to do. So I'll see y'all the next day or later on, depending on what I do. Everyone, so today I just like wanted to say I bought a abo, I bought a mid cut, so I'll put a picture here of which one I bought, and then um, I guess not in this vlog or, but I'll like in the next vlog I'll definitely show y'all some like updates of me potting it up or any growth updates definitely because I think it's really important, really like fun and to share this one like this one's been on my on my wish list for like two years now and so i'm finally able to get it it's the monstera elbow so i was just like when there's a chance and you're able to you just jump on that chance <laughs> and so i did and i am happy this is like my early birthday present for me so all right hi everyone so today i have some few plants that i just received and we're going to be working on them first one i've got this one this is a philodendron pasta simon been really wanting to get this one so I'm just like really excited that I finally am able to get it so my friend also threw in a couple other plants so I'm excited I'm gonna show y'all I got this little cup of cuttings this is a philodendron Milano chrysum so I like that so I have one growing right now I'll put it here for a picture um, I like it a lot it's growing really well for me this one is a mayo eye. Put a picture right here for y'all to see what um, a mayo eye looks like. And that's what this will look like. And then I got a little cutting. I got a little cutting of the Epi Yellow Flame. How cute. So I'm excited. I have a couple other plants that I that are on their way. And I'm really excited to show y'all. It's um, I have the Epipermum, the variegated Epipermum Sativa Blue, the Ghost, and also um, the variegated Mycans, the variegated Philodendron Mycans, the Halo. I really wanted that one, so I got that one. Um, I'm gonna put it, so when I get it, I'll definitely unbox it and share it with y'all. So. And I got this one also. This is a philodendron, this is, well, this is a reverted philodendron, um, a reverted variegated philodendron domesticatum. <laughs> so as you see, 
it's green right now. The stem is variegated, but the plant is green. So what I think I need to do is uh, repot it, grow it out, and then um, do cuttings on it because I, I think if I cut it up, it might branch out some variegation or might push off some variegated parts on this bottom piece over here. Uh, but either way, if it doesn't, I'm just really excited to have it. It's a beautiful plant, regardless if you're varied or, or not. This leaf shape is stunning. And it, I, I think like just simple big green plants are always just nice to have around. So definitely gonna be working on these. I'm gonna relax a little bit and then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna work on them. All right, so I got, I got pet mail. So what this is, is my birthday plant to myself. And this is a Monstera album. This is a mid cut. Look at that. <sighs> Y'all, I'm so happy. And it's even more important because like I bought it for myself, so. In the beginning, I did have like one that um, that I was gifted and that was really special to me. But after chopping it, because I tried propagating it, it never grew for me again. So, but now I have one of my own. Very well packaged. Look at this. This is how you should package a plant. Oh, I even got it in a planter. Thank you so much. Wow. Y'all, this is a mid cut and you can tell it's good variegation because the variegation goes all the way down the stem. It's a little light, but once it's placed in my grow tent under some grow, under some grow lights, uh, they'll do well. Next one I have my eye on is the Monstera Aurea. I'll put a picture here for y'all so y'all can see what I'm talking about. But the Monstera Aurea is a, such a beautiful plant. It shows um, yellow variegation. I personally like the yellow variegation. I think it's really, really pretty. Or like the green on green variegation. I just find that pretty my, on, on my own. And so um, I'm sure the seller is not gonna like ever see this video, but if the seller ever does see this video, um, I just want to say thank you. Uh, this is my birthday plant, and I'm just so happy. Like, I bought three birthday plants for, so I could share with y'all and show y'all, and oh my gosh, y'all. 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 I'm so excited. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Oh my And you're gonna grow up and be so beautiful and big. So now I'm just gonna leave it in my grow tent. All right, everybody. So in today's vlog, I am going to be doing um, my TC uh, Spirit uh deflasking. So I'm going to be deflasking this, uh, placing it in uh, water for a while, and then I'm going to show you what I've been doing for the process on how I'm acclimating them and an update on the previous TC uh, plants that I'm working on as well, like the Red Anderson, the Varicosums, so stay tuned. All right, so it's ready to be potted up and I'm gonna show y'all what I do. So they go in here, they go in here now because now I'm learning. They need like really high humidity in order for them to um, push off, push out a lot of new growth at this young 
like platelet stage. And I already made a hole in there for for it, so we're just gonna place it like right in there. Some of them got a little like stuck in there, but this is gonna be like something that I'm just gonna do for now and just have them all in here. There's like four Brent Andersons and that spirit to Santee. So now I just gotta cover them up. So I make sure the top is really tight on it. Like this. Yeah. Alright. Alright, this is something that I've been having to do for like two days. But um, since it was in travel and we've had really high temperatures, it needed to like acclimate. So leaving it in the jar before deflasking it, meaning like before removing the lid um, and opening it up and all that, uh, you just let it sit under like grow lights um, for about one or two days. And that should like really help with the acclimation process. So I'm excited to see what's gonna happen. I'm definitely going to show you all some updates. Uh, so, yeah. I might get another one so that way I could like maybe propagate off of that one when it gets mature enough to do so. So that way I could like, um, I don't know, trade some stuff, you know. I'm always thinking about the chicken. So I told my, 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 because I have a group, a Facebook group. So I told them in there if like you ever see a plant in here and you have like some chicken. Uh, materials or supplies or feed or something and you want to trade it for it then let me know you know that's a lot of like the reason why I grow plants so that way I could like care for them and improve their conditions and uh, just advance this uh, business of mine so thank you all so much till the next day for another plant chore <laughs> to do welcome to late night repotting so today, I have to like get some of these things out. Some, I have to like get some of these plants repotted because I normally don't have any time in the morning or in the afternoon to do it because I'm always busy with the animals or today I took a lot like all day editing so I was doing that. But I have some plants to convert from LECA over to soil. That's because like they're ready to go to like be sold, so that's what that's how I do it. I grow them from Leca in Leca, and then I move them over to soil. And then um, I'm also <laughs> converting some of the some of them from soil to Leca as well. Um, and then I am also repotting a couple of my no drainage plants because uh, I want to grow Hoyas in these. I think these would be better for Hoyas. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have them already picked out. They're like right behind me. Um, I have no idea what this one is. So, 
It's really pretty, so I thought I'd just like grow it in that new drainage. And then this one is my Hoya Cronion, Croniana Super Splash. Right? That's how it's called. I like this one a lot. It doesn't really pick up. There you go. So that one's really pretty. I like that one a lot. I'm gonna grow both of these. And then <clears throat> remove the Hoya Jade from this one and move it, put it over and repot it into a new container, six inch container and keep it trellis like that. But in the plastic container in soil. And then I have like a couple other plants that I'm gonna be doing the same to. These are all like, I'm trying to get them all ready because I have a swap this Saturday. So I thought it'd be really good to just get that out of the way and then worry about other things. I already treated everything. So um, it's easier for me to like uh, repot it that way. And my anthurium is going in here. I have my Ethereum crystal uh, hope, so I don't like how it's growing in here, and I've already like damaged it. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that when I get it in here, it'll be like able to just like be in that area and not have to be like touched or with other plants, and then just grow better that way so that's what i'm really hoping for <laughs> but i'm probably gonna play a lot a little like background music while i'm repotting and um i'll do like some close-ups uh but it's gonna be like a very more like relaxed just chill vibe that we're gonna go for for all of this because i'm gonna be putting on my headphones and just uh repotting away so that's that's how i'm, I'm gonna do it
All right. Well, until tomorrow, because it is nighttime, and did as much as I could. Just wanted to get that out the way because it's a lot of stuff. Um, yes, I still have a whole bunch of Hoya Street Pot, and then after that, I think there's like some more things to repot as well, but getting to it. <laughs> Alright, hi everybody. Hi everybody. Alright, hi everybody. So today I am going to be uh, removing my Monstera Akakoensis from this uh, no drainage plant here and into um, probably just like a vase right now or something to like for water. So tomorrow I should like have my uh, Warleka so I can put it into a, a different container. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to move it over to some like just in water because I want to place my Cebu Blue Ghost into here instead. I like the way the shape is and I think it'll be great with the, this moss pole. I'm actually going to make my own uh, for and so I'll definitely like show y'all later of whenever I, I get to do that. So it's kind of like gently taking it out because oh man. Okay. gonna get messy right so bound to happen so let's place this in here with the same soil because you know why not oh no okay I didn't have it the right way I wanted it to trail up vacuum this carpet <laughs> but it looks good perfect I think I'm just gonna put a little bit right here in the bottom I think from here I'll be able to be done and as it climbs it'll just get larger Come here, you. Oh. Okay, well, don't push too hard.
Okay, well that seems to do better because it's like, that was, that's kind of frustrating actually. Very frustrating. <laughs> I guess if you like put it in first. But I don't know. Maybe not for me. <laughs> this is probably the only one I'll, I'll have. Exhausting noises. Just had such an exhausting day. <laughs> you know? Just took a bath. <laughs> we went outside, she took a bath, and I think that's about it. My word, this was one of the most exhausting moss poles to put up. <laughs> I do not like this little pointy thing at the end. I don't like that. Uh, but for right now, I just need my plant to size it up and then we're gonna go from there. I'm going to eventually change these to plant tape because it's just temporary is what I had around but uh, I'm gonna have this in my grow tent for about like a week and then from there I'll be able to uh, move it out for, into uh, like just this kind of like area but because I the reason why I'm moving I'm moving it to the grow tent is just because like I want to make sure it like has a good transition because I did move everything around a lot and I just don't like having to do that so much with the plant so um but yeah this I'll give y'all an update on how it goes and then tomorrow I'll be potting up the Monstera acroglenses into the into the other uh container the other glass container because I really like these, even though it is was a little kind of frustrating to do 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 this and kind of like figure out my own like routine with it, but it was totally worth it. I think the aesthetic is definitely something that I like, and 
and I'm going for with my uh, plant room. I'm also going to be converting it into a little lab. So eventually there's an area behind uh, over here where I'm going to be converting it into a lab. So um, yeah, you all are helping me out so much and I really appreciate it. Um, and especially like through a lot of things that I've been going through through July and June and July and I just can't stress how enough uh, how thankful it has been to just have like great friends around that are super supportive not just like friends but also like great allies so it's been great so thank y'all <laughs> but you you have been difficult today <laughs> so I'll see you in a week buddy all right Here's how it looks. Oh, this is my baby right here. Oh, I love you too, mama. I'm a good baby. But this is how it looks. I'll give you an up close and personal look. Look at that. But um, there, it was really kind of hard to maneuver this. I was thinking of kind of like moving it over here. So we're going to do something like that. And I think I have some bobby pins somewhere. Maybe I could like put bobby pins in there but so far what I what I needed was like these to adhere onto there first and then the, so that way like everything will start to do that and I'm hoping putting in the grow tent for this like first week will help it but this is my epipremnum Ciba blue ghost <laughs> this is a new day and today we're going to be uh I'm gonna be uh, doing. I'm gonna be cleaning up in my plant studio here. There's gonna be some repotting. We're gonna be chatting up a little bit. We're also going to be um, sharing with you some plants that I received from my um, <clears throat> from my from my plant swap that I went to. So if you like stuff like that, make sure you subscribe to the channel, uh, like my videos. My name is Blue Phoenix. Uh, my links are down below if you want to check it out. I post. Um, lifestyle content I just talk about my life I'm just me <laughs> and then I also share a lot about my plants so if you like that and then I uh, if you're interested I also sell some plants as well and the links are down below you can check it out there's reviews and all that good stuff all right so for the first plant I just want to like share with y'all this is big amazing painted lady that I received um, I got this from our, uh, from the swap, from our local group. We had a raffle going on, and so I already have a painted lady, but I don't have one that's like this big. Let me see if I can. How is it looking? Okay, so I don't have one that's like this big. And, um,. I'm just really excited to have this one. There's a lot of nodes, as you see. It's from one of our local sellers, so I'm excited to have that one. I'm thinking about placing it in a um, like a large uh, glass container. I received two Joe FBI's, so I traded. And I got this one over here. And then I also got this one over here as well. I have some Joeffy eyes for my TC, but I want one like personally for myself and one that I could like propagate from. So I'll be definitely like doing that with these. And then what I'm gonna do is like take them out of the substrate, clean off the roots, do all that maintenance. So if maybe like that's something that you're interested in doing or looking at, how someone does it. I mean, that's just what I do, and I always make sure I'm very thorough with like cleaning. Oh, okay. Juwepi, I did not want to stay. I also got this Syngonium Three Kings because mine unfortunately kicked the bucket. <laughs> so we'll be definitely repotting this one up and cleaning its roots, substrate and all. Placing a new substrate, possibly Leca. I have a lot of Leca now. So, I also, uh, they had like a little freebie table and they had a little Burl Marks fantasy plant there. So I was really excited to have that. 
there was a really nice like girl there and she gave me all these little allocation cords. There's this allocation silver dragon that I really like. And then these are allocation polys. So I love that. Oh, and I also traded with her. I also traded with her and look at this little cute face planter that I got as well. So I thought that was really cute. And this is a Exotica. Scandapsis Exotica. So those are my little tray. Oh, before I forget, I also got a Bella, a Hoya Bella. Look how cute this is. And then there's also peduncles on here. I've never had a Hoya um, flower for me, so I'm just excited to see it flower eventually. If possible, I love it. I won't propagate you if you're gonna flower, but you gotta flower. <laughs> if you're gonna not flower, you gotta get propagated. So that is like my little mini haul from uh, my plant swap that I went to. What I did now is like, I got a haircut. I feel like a brand new person all over again, but like I'm ready to like embrace just like what comes my way. And I'm so excited because like, it's just, it's been so long. So I also, I'd like to chat in my videos. So I hope that's cool with y'all. But if it's not, well, you know, we could always just skip on forward. <laughs>
that is the end of the video. I really appreciate you all so much for watching the video and just um, if you en enjoyed it and learned something from it, that's great. Um, and also for all my new subscribers, thank you all so much. Uh, thank I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I'll be definitely trying to do a more consistent schedule. I want to at least do one video a week, but we'll get to it. So yeah, y'all take care. Bye everyone.